YouTube, this is Elizabeth here today, and today I'm going to be doing for you um, sort of a tutorial, kind of summer fun um, activity, um, DIY, just a wonderful decoration to put in your room or on your desk, um, or a centerpiece, um, something that will just make your room a lot cheerful and brighter, and to me it makes my room more happier and more colorful, and um, you can also, like, take these, like, ideas and incorporate them, like, put the certain colors, like, if your room happens to be blue, you can, um, do the jar blue, um, and what I'm trying to tell you is my room's purple, I, like, love the color purple, um, I like blue, I like green, um, I like a lot of different colors, and I just think that if I do something that kind of goes with the theme like I could do blue pink or purple because all the colors kind of combine together and I think it would look lovely um and in a couple minutes here I'm about to get into my video I just wanted to if you were wondering what I am wearing today today I am wearing a necklace um this necklace I have got when I was younger um when I mean younger I was like I think like 11 or 10 or maybe 12 I do not exactly know um, and these beads are, like, actually homemade, they said. It was at, like, a church, like, we used to go to. Um, and exactly, it looks kind of short, but it's actually really long. And if I, like, put this on my neck, it'd be, like, way down here. It's supposed to be a necklace, but since it's so long, I just take it and I twist it in a knot, like a loop. Hold on about that. I'm going to redo this. And I just put it on my... Sorry about that. But this, the bead is trying to get stuck on the one thing. And put it on my neck and wear it like this. Um, and then this, my sister is selling these on Etsy. Um, she's selling crosses. She's selling cows. She's selling, um, what else is she selling? A whole bunch of different kind of wonderful things, like swirly little things. A um, whole bunch of things that are really cool and she makes them out of clay so anything you basically want you just um you can comment you can find her um on sarah on facebook um with a little dog named ginger hand up y'all <laughs> um and please subscribe to this channel hand up um y'all for more upcoming videos voila and then you can just like it and comment and tell me how you guys recreated it and I would love to hear from you and love to see how you took my idea and made it into something really interesting and cool. Um, my idea is my idea, but everybody likes different colors and stuff. So I really hope you guys recreate this, really enjoy it, and just it's really fun. I mean, you can even put this in your locker if you go to a school. And what I'm literally telling you, um, if you this is like glass, so... You want to be careful if you do that. But if you get a plastic one, plastic little container or whatever, you can, like, decorate it and, like, put it in your, like, locker or um, wherever. I um, mean, if you go to a workplace and you, like, if you're, like, a secretary or, like, somebody that works in an office, you can just put this on your office, like, decorate it and, like, set it on your desk and it would look really cute and make your day at your workplace a lot more exciting. Um, if you're in college and you're going to college and... You want something to make your college life more exciting, you can um, make one of these. Um, and also, like your pencils, like boring, well, these are not really boring, but even if they're colorful, you can also decorate them. But if you have like a boring pencil, like this one, like a regular ballpoint pencil, and you just wanted to make it unique so you don't lose them, and if you're in like middle school, high school, college, or even at work, you just want to make them unique or whatever. And if you have like little stickers, you can put your name, like eat. Like your uh, two initials, like my B E and then my last initial, my last name, and that would be really cool to do. Um, so just have fun with it, enjoy it, whatever you want um, to make your day a little brighter, um, more exciting. And now we're gonna get into the video. Um, all you need is about a jar like this, or you can get a skinny one, any kind of jar basically would do. Um, I just like this jar because it's like rounder and it's like just a perfect size for me. I think. Um, and all you need, this is just, like, a random, like, crap bin. We just, like, these are, like, some cookies that we, like, eat, and they're really good. Um, if you have never heard of these, I prefer to go buy these. Um, and if you don't really have, like, a crap bin or anything, you can just throw it in, like, a random, like, container or whatever. 
Um, and we're just going to use what we have in here. So anything would basically do. So don't feel, feel like you have to go out and buy like a certain thing. As long as you have a jar, as long as you have some paint, as long as you have um, some marbles, and you have some like basic things, um, you should be fine. And you don't have to go out and say, oh, well, I don't have like a jar. I, I don't have like a mason jar. I need to get a mason jar. I have to go to the, like the art store. No, you don't. Um, a really good trick that if you finish a product like jelly or like a pickle jar or whatever, you just rinse it out, soak it up, clean it off, take off the label, and bam, that's what we did with this jar. And you have your own nice jar to work with. So as we go here today, we're going to start. Okay, before I like start into that, I'm going to put the base into the thing. My base consists of some marbles. And this is the base of my jar. Some like teal marbles. Um, I think it looks cute. Um, and it's just really, I like bright colors, so that's really cool. And I just decided to make it a little more unique. I just decided to get some like random beads, like just like beads that you like string through like a necklace or a bracelet or like like kid braids or what kids beads or whatever. Some beads that I I don't really make like kids necklaces or anything anymore, but um I just decided to use some of these beads and randomly I'm just taking like green, red, and like some bright colors in here and what you wanna do is just like just pour them in there. And I'm just going to show you a trick to, like, mix them up. What you could do is just throw them in there, and then we got, like, a mixture of, like, different kind of beads. And you just go like this. You have a little, make it a little better, and now it's, like, just mixed up in there, just, like, all over the place. And if you want, this is just, I'm just going to experiment with this. I'm just going to take some pink paint um you can take any color you want this is just some paint that we had and i just decided to use it because pink and purple kind of go together and i just decided to just work with what i have and enjoy so i just randomly like squirt this in here you might say this is a little weird but we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see if it works so i'm gonna go really quick sorry about that my mom is making something really quick and for us and i i'm pretty sure that would be really good um like, it's for me and my family. So, I'm just going to go over there and get, like, a jar and so I can mix up this paint. Um, and I'll be back in about, like, two seconds, so just stay tuned. Um. And what I meant by, like, a plastic jar, this is, like, a plastic jar. See? It's just plastic. This is, like, glass. And you just, like, twist it on. And mix it up. And it just, like, dries the paint. I'm almost done. I'm like, I'm trying to make sure that I'm going to give it a Literally. Whoa, that was cool. Okay, so now the jar looks like, you just like painted it pink. And then you open it up and, literally, all the beads are like, you don't even see them basically. And it kind of makes it kind of cool. Like they're just like dyed like some color. And then, what you can do, if you don't really like this idea, you can just, like, put a mixture of colors, and it might look a little more better. You can tie it inside, and, like, it just looks like blue beads and, like, random stuff in there. Um, if not, you can just leave the beads the way they are. And now what we're going to do is we're going to paint the outside. Um, we're just going to go into this bin of what I have. I have some tissue paper, which we're not really going to be using. I don't know of today. Um, this, which I don't even know. And we're just going to get, I have a foam brush, so we're going to use that, and really there's nothing really in here, like just pens and stuff, I really thought there was like more stuff I could put in here, but, um, let me go look for my paint real quick, I'll be right back, I know where it's at, it's like over here, so I'll be back in a minute. Literally, like, I'm so, like, upset right now. I just, I just thought I had, like, the gray paint, and I really don't see it right now. I'm so sorry. But if you don't, like, see your paint right now, um, don't worry about that. Um, 
we have a red bow. Just get some, like, material, like, just whatever you want, and just decorate it. I really was not planning on, like, I was really planning on finding that, but I really don't know where it is. Um, and then you just get some glue. You can use hot glue gun, Elmer glue, whatever. This is just a regular almost glue with a uh, purple top. And all you do is you just take it and you just like glue it like down like this side because this is like the shiny side and you always want to glue on like the plain smooth side because it sticks way better. Um, and I'm just going to glue like the whole entire thing straight across. Like, I knew, like, I only saw this one piece, like, paint, and I have, like, a gray paint, which I was going to try to show you. But if you don't want to, you don't have to paint it. So, I'm, I'm just not going to paint it today. Um, and, but if you want to, you can paint it different colors on the outside. Today, I'm just going to be decorating it, the outside. So, I just glued this on to it. And I think it looks really cool because it kind of looks like pink to me, but it's actually red. Well, it kind of looks like a really dark pink, but it's a red. And then what we do after that, you can take a bow if you want or like a little gem or whatever. This is just a clear gem, which was on this bow, and I just like took it off. Like, you can use like scrap things, like things you don't usually expect to use. Just like, just take whatever you want and just like glue it on and enjoy because this is your own personalized thing. And even if it looks different and people are like, what did you just do? Um, it's always unique. Be yourself. Try new things. And realize that there's always something out there for everyone to do. Um, and some people like certain things. Some people don't like certain things. But if you really love like doing crafts and like projects, it's always good to like experiment and like put new things. But if you have, like, old, like, if you have, like, craft stuff you never really use and you really don't know what to use it for, then just pull it out of your craft bin and just, um, make something really exciting and fun. So now what we're going to do is, I said we weren't going to use this, but I think it would look really cute, um, if we did. And if I could get my glue gun, it would be really easy, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to like rip it up and we're just, this is like confetti paper and we're just going to like twist it and we're going to glue it. I don't know if we can glue it. Let's see if it'll stick. Um, this might, but we're just going to, we're just going to push it in the hole of a jar. Just like, I don't even know. I just like whip this up and you can squish like little balls of it up and like squish it in there. Um, and you can use any kind of like confetti paper you want and then like inside is like confetti taper. And then you got your beads when you shake it and if you want, if you don't have beads or anything, you can put rice in it. It can be like a rice jar or a bean jar. Uh, whatever your like heart desires and just have like fun with it and enjoy so that's like the first project um it's really plain and simple and if you want to chop it off i'm not like gonna glue this because i don't have a glue gun like set up right now but if you want i me take that off you can take like one of these little fabric bows and i really highly recommend you to do this and just like glue it to the top and like this and that would look so cute that's what i'm gonna do when I get my glue gun out. Um, so that's just an option. Or you can just put like beads on the top or like material on the top. Like you just put lace around here. Um, you could just do like so many cool ideas with jars. These jars are just very, very like your own ideas and you can really have fun with them. So just enjoy your summer, enjoy your break, enjoy um, and whatever, like, you think would look good on your desk, if you're 